Christina, in the temple of Carlos Carpa design, you have organized an exhibition which is in fact a dialogue between the ideas of Carlos Carpa and the master of uh, Venetian glass. Yes. So yes. tell me what you are showing and why it is exceptional. But it is exceptional because Massimo Michaluzzi has accepted this uh, uh, great challenge uh, to create uh, 50 bases in dialogue with the architect of Carlos Carpa. And uh, Carlo, Carlos Carpa knew very well the, the Murano glass uh, and he designed some amazing glasses for Benini. But in this case, uh, the inspiration uh, uh, is not the Carlos Carpa glass, but exactly all the details of this architecture, this amazing negozio that was uh, the idea of Adriano Olivetti that in the 50s uh, he wanted this uh, uh, shop just to show the uh, typewriter machine in what he was in his mind, the most beautiful piazza in the world. And so there's a performance about the glasses, about the vases. Why is it difficult to do? But it, it is super difficult to do because uh, it's glass, but at the very first side you think that it's ceramic because it's not transparent. The transparency of the glass is just inside because the base of the glass is like a, a, a system of different tiles. It's like a mosaic. Imagine to blow a mosaic, to blow the, the, the inspiration, for example, for uh, for these ways is exactly the floor that you have downstairs. And but imagine, look at the floor. Yeah, but look at this floor created by Carlos Carpa, inspired by Paul Klee. Ah. Uh, yeah, in fact, you see that all the tiles have little different nuances uh, because he was very attentive of all the chromatic passages of. Uh, um, powerfully and, and but can... so to make that, how many people can make that? No, just Massimo Michelucci. Ah, really? Nobody else, yeah. Also, this, uh, no, Massimo Michelucci, with the help of this great uh, blow master, that is Andrea Zilio, is like it's like a marriage between them. They they work together, or better, Massimo prepare the base with the drawing before in his laboratory in Venice, and then. He goes to Murano and, and he uh, and Andrea Zilio blows the, the, the vase with the collaboration of Massimo. And how, how long does it take to make a vase? But, uh, for a vase, uh, it's, it's 20 days. In reality, the moment of the blowing is just one hour, just. It's a very complex. Uh, That's uh, the end of, of the process. Hour. But the process is very long because you have to prepare all the different uh, uh, elements of the mosaic, of the, the different tapes, so then you have to create the pattern, then you have to create, a, to glue this pattern with the, with the heat of the oven, and then uh, you have the blowing moment, and then you have a sort of post-production when you have just to, uh, to correct all these, for example, the, the holes, uh, here and uh, so it's very, very long. Bon, merci, madame. You're welcome, darling.